What's up, guys? Welcome back to Shaking a Culture. I'm your host, Diana Garcia, and I'm here with... Fully Charged. How are you? I'm good. How you doing? Good. Tell us a little bit about yourself for those people who not know you. For those who don't know, I am Fully Charged. I'm entertainment journalist, for, um, celebrity photographer, manager, like all around, like media mogul here in Atlanta, Georgia. Facts. How was um New York Fashion Week? I saw you were a nice little key. You was looking yeah. fresh, stripped yeah. out. How yeah. was that? Yeah. New York Fashion Week was crazy. Like just being like back in that state of mind, like after COVID and like everything else, like just being back in New York, like for Fashion Week was definitely a great, inspiring feeling. Like. Just seeing everybody, Coyle Ray, Dream Dog, and Ellie Chopper, just seeing like everybody like back to, you know, the regular state of mind. Yeah. It was really fun. I, I had so much fun. No, I bet. Good. Who was best dressed in your eyes? Uh, best dressed was Carla. She's an upcoming artist. Uh -huh. um, she did a fashion show for um, Me Feeder mm -hmm. um, in New York. Um, she was best dressed to me. She had a blue fur on, she had a ripped up jeans, she had a nice heel, nice bag. Like, she was so dope. No, I bet. I bet. Do you yeah. have a favorite designer? Uh, my favorite designer? Um, of course I like the, you know, like the Louis Vuittons and the, um, the Gucci stuff. But, you know, that was in Milan. But, mm -hmm. like, being like in New York, I like advisory. It's a um, clothing line advisory. I like, um, it's a clothing brand called Capo. Okay. It's a different type of, it's a different lot of brands that I like that, you know, I see that got some nice stuff, so. Okay, okay. Um, I don't know, upcoming, like, designers. Designers, look, you're putting people on. Yeah, I'm just saying. If I can get some stuff, like, send it to me. <laughs> Yo, for real. All right, um, so tell us how you how you even picked up a camera. You have family that's actually that did jazz. You have an uncle that did jazz and yep. French and yep. French, French. And then you also have your dad did music. Was it your dad? My dad like plays the guitar. There you but, go. Yeah, yeah. He does do music. Yes, my, yeah. my dad does do music. Yeah. So why? How did you pick up a camera instead of anything music? Um. That's funny because I always, like growing up, I always wanted, like, I want to be a singer, I want to be a rapper, I want to, like, be a producer, but I don't know, like, a camera just fell in my lap, like, I don't even know how old I was, I probably was about, like, 17, 18, mm -hmm. when I picked up the camera and just started going out to different, like, club hostings and, like, club appearances for different artists, like, in Baltimore, Maryland, so that's how I started, just mm -hmm. picking up a camera and going there. Um, I still do music though. But you do? I was I do gonna music. ask you. I, I have a few songs that I like. Go, I go to the studio and like play around. Yeah. But it's like nothing serious. I was gonna ask you. I was like, have you ever thought about you know doing music? Yeah, I have. Rapping? I have do you I rap have. or sing? Both. With, with, you do both. Yeah, I song write. Like I be in the bathroom, like writing <laughs> and like in the zone and shit like that. Do you ever like think about releasing anything just for fun? I have. The, the you funny have? thing is, I have released like two songs before. They're on SoundCloud, like not on like iTunes or anything, but I have released like two songs. What are they that's about? when I was in LA. What were they about? Um, just like partying and just like having a good time, a vibe, like you know, that's so funny. I can't even find that shit on SoundCloud. Cloud Yo, it was so it? long ago. It was so long ago that it's like not even on SoundCloud no more. That's crazy because you came down here in 2017, right? Yeah, 2017. Like 2017, 18. Um, I relocated from LA. Mm -hmm. Um, I moved to Atlanta. Um, like my sister was like, "Yo, come down here. I, I need you down here with me." And I'm like, I don't know about Atlanta. It's slow what? down there. It's country down there. I don't like it. What's wrong with being country? First of all, you're from <laughs> Baltimore, okay? Uh, Baltimore, you guys have an accent. So I, when I we heard do. you, I was like, yeah, Baltimore. Yeah, we, for we, sure. we do have an accent. But like down here in Atlanta, it's just like more slow. Like new, uh, like Baltimore is like very fast paced. Like here, there, they like. But I, I realized like here in Atlanta, it's just more like slow. Really? Don't you feel like it's like. 
things are like picking up because think about it it's picking up but naturally like and then it's just slow I, well i mean you're used to the fast pace especially you've been yeah. in la how long were you in la for i lived in la for about like five years five years yeah, I jumped up the porch early. Like I was gone. Like I did not want to stay at home with my mother. Like I was like, shit. Like, I'm 16. I'm gone. Yeah. I'm like, I left. 16. Like 16 something. Like, oh, sad. Wait, what made you want to do it? Besides, you know, like. Um. Well, Baltimore is really like a fucked up city. Like, yeah. It's a right. lot of killings. A lot of just crab in a bucket type. Not everybody there, but majority of the environment is just like everyone's for themselves mm -hmm. so like i wasn't raised like that way yeah so i had to get out of that situation like when i saw like i'm like damn like killing their own friends and like, like i had to get out of that yeah so yeah i was I like, like my first place will go be in la LA. LA yeah. was the move back then though, but now yeah. you have Atlanta, which everybody says the black Hollywood. Yeah. Atlanta is definitely the black Hollywood. It is. Yeah. It is. That I do believe. Yeah. And that's one of the reasons why I did come down here. So. Yeah. I saw one of your interviews and you were like, everybody should move to Atlanta. I say don't move to Atlanta because wow. look, the traffic, what do you mean? You still want me to traffic? <laughs> no, the traffic is crazy. Here. Literally, we don't need any more people. I'm sorry. Stay yeah. where you're at, Stay you know, at. and then figure it out. If somebody flies you out to Atlanta, that's a different story. Don't move down don't here. Don't move here. The rent is going up. Yo. The fucking traffic is what? crazy. But the thing that I love about Atlanta is everybody has a hustle. Facts. Like, either it's music, it's fashion, it's photography, it's fucking hair. Like, everybody in Atlanta is on that shit. No Literally, facts. everybody. So that's why I do love Atlanta for mm -hmm. that sake. Point. I just was telling mm -hmm. her that LA is more hard. Like, yeah. LA, they're gonna be like, but Atlanta's just like, okay, come on, come in. I, I, I want to see what you can do. Yeah, yeah. So no, that's why I do like being in Atlanta. Okay, how is the photography industry? You know, because I feel like I turn everywhere. Mm -hmm. Now everybody's picking up a camera at these clubs. Mm -hmm. um, being celebrity photographers, some people call themselves celebrity photographers, but from a distance, you know what I mean? Yeah. They just go to club, oh shit, dream doll, snap, yeah. and whatever. How, so how's um, that photography? I feel like the, the photography, the celebrity photographer <laughs> scene here in Atlanta is, um, it could be smoke and mirrors a lot, um, because in my opinion, I feel like a celebrity photographer is someone who is locked in with a client locked in like on their day-to-day -day, like let's hypothetically say i was Nicki minaj's photographer mm -hmm. no i'm on payroll like she's calling me like charles where you at yeah, like, i yeah. need you that's a celebrity photographer and i'm not knocking someone who doesn't get requested or and like called but like okay you pop up at the club and took a picture of Carrie Hilson. Mm -hmm. Doesn't necessarily mean you're a celebrity okay. photographer. It's like, you know, you just so happen to be there at the right time. You got that right photo. And you got that right photo. Yeah. So after you build your shit up and then people start requesting you, then you can call yourself a celebrity like photographer. photographer. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's different strokes for different folks. No yeah. facts. So how did you know you wanted to be a celebrity photographer? Because you did, you were doing vlogging. I was. That's how you started. Yeah. And then you came up with this thing called, let me not get it wrong, um, entertainment journalism? Yep, journalism? entertainment journalism. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, I kind of like made that name up because I'm like, okay, I'm around music, I'm around entertainment, I'm around fashion, and I really started off like blogging and just like writing different stuff that I saw. Like, so if Brandy was at the market and the paparazzi caught her, I'm like, oh shit, like, let me post that and let me write about it or mm -hmm. stuff like that. So that's how I really honestly started, like just blogging, blogging. about like music and like entertainment and stuff like that. So, how did you come to? Uh actually being on somebody's payroll because you're little kids um yeah. photographer how did that um, come about well 
one of my good friends, Zoe, he introduced me to Key, mm -hmm. like right after he got signed. Um, he was like, hey, he, he doesn't have a photographer, maybe just come in, take some pics, let's see how it goes. If he likes you, like he'll keep you on board. Like if he don't fuck with you, he'll let you go. He probably won't call you again. Yeah. <laughs> so um, that's kind of really like how I got on payroll mm -hmm. with, you know, Key and his team and stuff like that. Um, which was which is a blessing. Yes. Yeah. Like now anywhere Keat is going, I'm going. Like Keat is like, yo, where you at? Come take my pictures. Like, yeah, like yeah. hurry up, kid. Like so it 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 it, it goes the extra mile with that. Facts. Yeah. Do you have like a favorite memory that you had, like a photo shoot memory that you did with him? Or something with like, yo, I did not expect this to go this way, but this shit just came out by um, as fuck. I actually I do. Uh I'm gonna say Fox Five when we shot Fox Five okay. with Gunner, um, and you know the blogs was picking up that it was shooting and it, I, like was shooting at the photo shoot. Mm -hmm. Even like it's so crazy because I took those pictures of Gunner, like and it was it was other camera guys out there, but out of like 40 photographers, he only posted me, and, it's, and I was like, damn, like <laughs> shit, like he literally like yo. Send me that picture. I'm not that. Like, I'm gonna yeah. post it on my page. And, I'm, and, you know, they meet so many people every day. So they don't Time. necessarily know, like, oh, that's Charles. Or, like, no. Like, he was like, yo, I'm, I'm posting that. Yeah. I was like, damn. But it was other people that out there, too, with cameras and stuff like yeah. that. So that's how I kind of, like, knew, like, this shit really is serious. Just, yeah. yeah. So. Facts. That's crazy. It's so crazy when you come in, you have a personality. Like, you, we know you're in the room. You're so polite, kind. Like, you're. I try to be. You try, try to be? What do you try? try? Are you I not like this? Be. What do you mean? <laughs> I try to be because, like, I'm a Scorpio. And, like, sometimes I try to, like, <laughs> analyze everybody in the room. Like, mm, yeah. Mm. <laughs> but I am a good, I'm a, I am a good hearted person. But, you know how sometimes it can be, like, nowadays you gotta. You gotta feel the energy. You gotta feel First. people out. You gotta see if they're even valuable to be on your team, or even yeah. to even waste your energy talking to. You sometimes, just and that's how society is made today. Like, yeah, yeah. You know, like, oh, don't fuck with her. Oh, don't fuck with him. Yeah. You know, so it's just like I kind of like try to sit back and just like analyze the room before yeah. connecting with people or like calling them my friends or mm -hmm. like inviting them to my place or putting them in positions to win too because it's people and photographers that hit me up all the time like yo I need your help like yo like can I come with you today like yo like I want to go with y'all and I was like you can't bring everybody back you know what I'm when did you learn that because I feel like me now kind of starting this Everybody hits you up, like you said. Everybody's like, hey, I need this, that, and the third. Yeah. But when did you decide in your career that I was like, all right, now I'm going to pick and choose what I'm giving my energy to? Um, I kind of felt like that like from the beginning. Because mm -hmm. like, I know how some people can be. Not everybody has like bad intentions. Mm -hmm. Not everybody is just a fucked up person. There's some good people out here left. So, like... My intuition will let me know, like, mm. she cool, like, fuck with her, like, yeah, yeah. help her, or like, he yeah, alright, like, bring him, bring him along. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll see so. about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll see. If you do some fucked up shit, you're done. No, facts. <laughs> Real quick. Cut it off. Real yeah. quick. Yeah. Right. What's one thing you feel like you struggled throughout your career thus far? Time management. Time management? Time, I have the worst time management ever, like, <laughs> like, I have the time, I have the worst time management, and it's, it's fucked up because I'm trying to get there. Like, I'm not used to waking up at six o'clock in the morning and going to like a nine to five job and yeah. stuff. Like, I'm not used to that at all. Like, I'm used to sleeping till three, getting up, get my day started at six, going to bed at like three in the morning. Like, cause I never really, like, I, in the past I've had like jobs, of course, like yeah. coming up. I used to work at Rita's, McDonald's, fast food, what? stuff like that, but. Once I knew my worth, I was like, I'm going back to work. I'm like, fuck that shit. I'm like, going back to work. I'm going to pick up a camera. I'm going to fucking pick up a laptop and do something to, mm -hmm. you know, maintain, you know, my life. So, um, yeah, that shit. 
That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. So you became Keith's um, photographer on your birthday, November 12th. Yeah. How was and that feeling? That was feeling? crazy. That was crazy. Um, that, that shit was so crazy because that's when I met him. And, and like Zoe was like, hey, he has, he got an interview today. He just got signed. Um, let's go over his house and you can interview him, take some pictures and shit like that. I was shitting bricks. I was scared. <laughs> I was nervous. I'm like, okay, um, what to do? I left my battery. I left my tripod. I was Everything. like, oh my God. Like, yeah, but we still worked with it and still like, he was like, that's cool. Don't worry about it. Like, let's, I still, you know, work. And I still got the job done. That's impressive. And, yeah, it's crazy because. I think I was just like under so much pressure mm -hmm. that I was worrying about it way too much, and it and it wasn't even that serious. It was like yeah. you know, just, you just first time meeting them, just come over and just you know get what you can get, get as much content as you can get, yeah. and just mm -hmm. vibe. That's dope. Um, yeah. I saw in one of your interviews, the interview you did, that you used to get, I don't know if you still do, but you used to get like stressed, you're like, yo, before a photo shoot, like get kind of anxiety. I like, still oh, do. Shit. You still I, do? Every day, like all the time, I still do. Like, I still get stressed out. Really? It, I think Why? I'm hard on myself. I think I'm just a little too hard on myself. But you got to be hard on yourself. You do. Because that's how you want to improve. That's how you want to like change the mistakes and and grow um yeah i'm hard on myself that's good though but you're yeah. such an amazing photographer like you're you I said i am exactly so I why are you getting my, nervous i don't what know my worth sometimes like in, in, uh, in, really? in, and that's just just speaking like you take all the celebrity photographers like you take all that stuff out like I, sometimes i'm at home like i'm not good enough or well, sometimes i'm scrolling on instagram and i'm like Fuck! How did he get that? Like, I want, I want that. I want my pictures to look like that. Like, he's yeah. better than me. Like, and it's all up in here. So, Thanks. I try to, I try to not compare myself to other people, and I try not to have those expectations with myself from just looking at Instagram or seeing someone else's photographer. I'm like, shit! Like, damn! I wish I was there. Yeah. I was just like my what's what's for me is for me. Yes, so. yes definitely. Yeah. Um, you mentioned do you have a favorite photographer? You said you look at some people's photography. Do you have a favorite photographer? Is there someone mm -hmm. that you got inspired throughout your journey that you're like, yo, he's class book. Let me yes. try to do something like that. Yes. Don't know his name off the top of my head because like okay, for instance, like when I see Kim Kardashian's photos. I forgot his name. That guy is fire. Amazing. He is fire. Like when I look at the Claremont twins mm -hmm. and I see like how they come together and do their sets and then like they taking pictures outside their house, like in their car. I'm like, yo, they have photographer is lit as fuck. Yeah. Like when I look at Iggy Azalea Pete, I'm like, oh, yo, hot pictures, be fire. I'm like, I want to be like him. Like, I, I want to use what he got. Like, yeah. I want to do what he. So, it it, it is. It's a, it's a few photographers that I look up to and that inspired me to like get better content. How would you describe your style? Um, my style is like that's that's funny because I, I I can't even describe it. Cause yeah. it's, it's more so, I don't I don't want it to just be like oh celebrity nightlife oh in a club paparazzi yeah. type content, but that's what I produce. Mm -hmm. But I kind of want to get out of that narrative and start doing more in studio shoots. Like okay. I want to just start doing like more like magazine editorial, like model stuff. Okay. So I'm trying to change my lane. Okay, if you were, let's say, um, GQ wants you to do the cover, mm -hmm. what artist are you shooting for the cover? If you could pick any artist to shoot. Um, I would probably do, that's a hug. <laughs> you could choose one that's artist and you could do whatever. It's a, Yo, mm. is you go crazy, go, get creative, I would, style, anything. I don't know. 
I, I think I probably would do like Brandy. I love her. I love okay. her music. Okay. I love her style. I love like she's so underrated. Even like being in the game for like twenty plus years, Super I feel creative. like she's still underrated and still like she holds so much weight in the music industry. Yeah. It's like I want to shoot her one day. I will shoot her one day. Yes, so, you will. Might not be today, but. but it will be a one day. I wish you heard. No. <laughs> I wish you Definitely. Heard That's right. crazy. So tell us um about music media. More music media. Okay, so more music media was the blog that I started. Mm -hmm. Um this was before I even tapped into photography. Okay. Like I said, I was like I was scrolling and I started seeing like different paparazzi photos in LA. I was like, damn, they clear and shit. Like, that's fire. And I was just seeing like how the blogs picked it up, picked it up, picked it up. I would screenshot the photo, look for different angles of the photo, and make my own story based off of what I saw. Okay. So it could be Jasmine Sullivan going to the recording studio in LA. I would take that picture, make my own, like, you know, assumption of it and just go from there. And then I started interviewing and I started like talk reaching out and talking to different artists in Baltimore. Mm -hmm. Like like yo, come over, like we gonna like just like how this setup is. Like yeah. yo, come over, we're gonna talk about your music, we're gonna talk about what you got going on and stuff like that and I'll put it on the blog. I'll put it on the blog. Like, but you know, nowadays people really don't go onto blogs oh. to read. We just swipe in. Yeah. Well, if it's amazing, Maybe. we just want to see the pictures. Yeah. So I stopped the blog, I stopped the website, but I still have like my Instagram and like my Twitter and stuff like, like that. that. Okay. Do you ever yeah. feel like that ever gonna come? You ever gonna go back to that? Yeah. Eventually? And it's crazy because a lot of my friends keep telling me like, "Yo, go back to blogging. Like, why you stop more music media? Like, what happened? Like, it's just like I just get overwhelmed with myself, mm -hmm. and it's kind of like I kind of stop. Yeah, I mean, you do have a lot to do though, yeah, because you, you say you have artists, you have artists, yeah. you're a photographer, personal photographer, yeah. you are creative. I feel like in general, yeah. have you ever stepped into that, um, like that role of becoming like a creative director, or a set designer, or a content yeah. creator? Yeah, um, I try to tap into it more and more each day, like grabbing new ideas with stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I just did a Valentine's Day photo shoot with my friend Kiara. Um, I ordered all the stuff for Amazon. I ordered a bunch of shit. I, I ran out of the studio. I got the backdrops, everything, and like this shit came out so nice. So that's creative directing. Like I created, directed the whole set. I yeah. set it up. I booked the studio. We shot. I told her what my vision was. She listened. She believed in me. So every day I'm like. I'm gonna get this creative director shit Definitely. down back. Yeah. Too. Do you ever feel like you probably do like music videos? Because you do visuals yeah. as well, but you I prefer. Do. I prefer. <laughs> yeah, I prefer that, that type of stuff. Um, music videos are hard. They are not easy at all. Um, How so? And they take months to make. Like I can shoot a music video in January, and the shit won't be done to like July. You, just because I'm such a perfectionist mm -hmm. and like I know my client, whoever my client is, they might be like, no, nah, I don't like that. Or, yeah. No, nah, where the visual effects? Where the color grading? Where's the, like, where's this? Where's that? Like, and a person who has inspired me to do videos, his name is Diesel. Um, my shit is Diesel. Um, he now shoots videos for ESTG and like a lot of other artists. Um, his visuals and his camera work is crazy. And I really like watched him grow. Like he was doing Key, he was doing Lil Got It, he was doing this person, he was doing like a bunch of rappers here in Atlanta, but now he has like grown so much. And like to see him really like locked in with ESTG and he's like, you know, he's the wave now. A lot of younger people like like him now. So it's like damn, like this nigga went from this person to this person yeah so that's somebody who inspired me too does your family ever see like you know how you just compared him going upgrading and elevating do your like people ever call you like yo you've done so much i'm so yeah. proud of you look at your yeah. They growth do. yeah they do my family definitely supports <laughs> me um 
my mom supports me, my dad supports me. I have an older brother and sister who support me. I have a little brother who loves me to death. Aww. Um, you know what, he's funny as shit. <laughs> um, yeah, they do, they call me all the time. They call That's me good. all the time. And it's like, it's so funny because I'm like, with my brother being the youngest, he like, yo, you was with Lil Durk. Yo, he was with Keith. Like, oh my God, like, yo, yeah. bring me. I'm like, bro, you're like 10. Like, oh, stop. he's like, that young? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see so it. So it's like, they definitely do call me and support me and like, tell me how much they love me and like, yeah. they're proud of me. Aww. So I definitely appreciate that. Nice. Cause that shit keep me going too. Cause like, sometimes when I get discouraged, I'll be like, my brother watching. My little brother, like, he looking at my page. Like, he he's he's calling me about so much shit. Mm -hmm. It's so funny. It's funny saying that. Oh, that's yeah, so cute. Like, making me emotional. <laughs> <laughs> you making me emotional. No, that's that. so dope, though. No, that that's really dope. You have so many tattoos. Which one was your first one? <laughs> Listen, okay. So, my first tattoo was family first. I was 16 years old. Um, I with my best friend Shamaya. We was like, fuck it, we got like forty dollars. Oh, we gonna get tattoos. Forty dollars? Like, yeah, like you know, back in the day, it was just like it was so easy to get like, oh, your tattoo man to say like, oh, three for twenty or like three yeah. for forty. And my first tattoo was family first on the top of my head. I don't even know why I even got that. Did that oh, hurt? You're sixteen. Yeah. It it, was, what? And I did it, and it was so, it was so crazy, like, cause he did it with like. He did it so fast. Just, I was like, oh my god! It was a, it was a big mistake. I should not have got it on the top of my hands like this. <laughs> but I can't go back now. Yeah. Fuck I mean, you can, but I heard it hurts yeah. more to take that yeah. off. Yeah. So you know, just keep it. I don't even know like why this. I did that. My mom was like, "What the fuck? Get out of my house!" I was like, "Oh my god!" Get on your hands. I would have done. <laughs> well, I did mine somewhere where my parents could never see it, and I'm like, they're never gonna find out. Oh, Four years god. later, they found out I had tattoo. I was right. like, oh, okay. That's I don't know. I'm not done though, but what what part are you missing? You look pretty tatted um, to me. I'm missing my back. Oh, your back? I definitely want to do my back. Um, I want to get my legs like covered in like flames okay. and like shit. I recently just got like my knees done. Was what was the most painful tattoo you have? Most painful tattoo was well, I have the all seeing eye on the back of my my neck. Uh huh. That shit hurt like shit. I was like walking around for like a month like this like <laughs> trying to like not fuck it up yeah and i have confidence and i have inspiration like in them like inside of my arms okay that shit hurts so bad really that shit was purple that was like it was it hurts so purple looking like you know that's just nothing but like meat yeah, right yeah, there yeah. Like, the it hurts purple? so oh, bad yeah, no. i was like i was walking around school like that how old were you when you got the one thing i was young i was young I was so young. I was young. And I'm 28 now. I'll be 28. You're be, young. You're I'm still, still young. young. Yeah. I'll be 29 this year in November. But like, I got like all these tattoos when I was like 17, 18, 19. Like, young. What? Yeah, shout young. out to you because I was like, mm, let me not, let me take my time with this one. Because I need to, no. I need to, I, I, I want to get some more shit, but I just got to figure out where I'm going to put this shit now. Yeah. Which, which one of your tattoos is like the most meaningful one? Most meaningful one. Okay, so here, this is like my good side and this is like my bad side. Like, you see the side? <laughs> this is my bad side. I got sh naked bitches. I got strippers. I just and saw that. Fucking like fast cars and like a bunch of shit over here. Yeah. And like spider webs and like the fast life and like trees my like that was your young side this is my young side like, this was more so like my good side like i have my brother my nephew's name ezra and noah i got like praying hands i got praying angels i got a scripture right here okay. like one of my one of my close friends he passed away i got his name like right here nice. like so this is my good side and this is my bad side that's funny <laughs> it's so hey. At least yeah. you know what side you want to show off. You yeah. know what can we expect from you this year? Do we have um, anything to keep an eye on? Of Any course, collabs? Of course, of course. You're um, always working. Of course. I'm always working. I'm always doing photography. Um, you guys can expect a lot of new clients. I don't I don't just only want to just stick with Keed or I don't just always want to be around like guiding stuff. I just want to 
like prevail and exceed different stuff. Doesn't mean I'm gonna never work with them again. Yeah, yeah. But hey, it, it's a influencer over here. She got a million dollar brand. I need to go take these pictures. I need okay. to go do this stuff right here. So they understand, like they know. But I definitely have a lot of stuff coming up. More content, more interviews, some shows coming up. Shows. It's, it's, yeah, it's some what? shows that's being filmed here in Atlanta about upcoming photographers okay can't really say too much but it's coming like on different like networks like okay. um zeus and like youtube and stuff like that so you'll see in like the upcoming months okay. it's just getting started like it's not even summertime yet so yeah, no you know facts. summertime come like all the shit shit is popping yeah, everything shit is popping. Out. definitely more tours more like worldwide shit just yeah. a bunch of you'll definitely see more fully charged are we gonna see more of you behind the camera or in front of the camera? In or front of the camera. In front of the camera. In front of the camera. Okay. Like, I, 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 I've spent so much time behind the camera. No. It's time to let the I'm world coming. know yeah. who you are. Like, and it's so crazy because, like, because I do YouTube too. Uh huh. And Check that like page. when I type in like low key on YouTube, you know how producers make beats? Yeah. And they take pictures. Like the picture, the cover art of the of the song, mm -hmm. all of them are literally my pictures, and I'm like, yo, that's so like inspiring and like that's dope as fuck to see that producers are making beats based off of artists that I work with and using my picture. I'm like, yo, that's so dope. That is like this guy hit me up and was like, hey, is it okay if I use your picture on YouTube? Use it. Yeah. Go ahead, like, yeah, yeah. because not only are they saying stuff in the comments about, yo, this beat fire, this beat fire, they also saying, like, yo, like where the fuck they get that picture from? Like, mm -hmm. who shot that picture? And, like, you know, fully charged to it. So, it's definitely room for growth. It's definitely room for, like, more opportunities and more experiences. And I'm here for it all. Yeah. Like, I'm accepting it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, last question. Fully charged. How did that come about? <laughs> Fully charged. Okay, so my name is Charles, mm -hmm. and back before I even like moved away from Baltimore, I was working at Procter and Gamble warehouse. That's where they make like CoverGirl and Beauty mm -hmm. and cosmetics and stuff like that. And my homegirl was like. What's up, baby Charles? She used to always call me baby Charles, like, or oh, baby C. What's up, baby C? What's up, baby Charles? And I was like, girl, I'm, char I'm fully charged. And she was like, okay, fully charged. And I'm like, I like that. Yeah. I said, don't call me no baby C. I'm not no baby. I'm not no Lord boy. Like, I'm fully charged in this bitch. Like, yeah. And it just stuck. I'm like, fully charged. My name is Charles. I'm like, I always got like, so much energy i'm always hyped i'm always Sorry. like ready to go i'm always like charged up yeah yeah, yeah. and i'm always like bringing a vibe so i'm like that's what be my name fully charged i'm like shit is that what people walking around here with other stupid ass crazy ass <laughs> yeah. crazy sounding names i, I can name myself bluetooth disconnected I can, bluetooth I can do. paris <laughs> bluetooth connected um hey the key take to like disconnect that. <laughs> I, th I was hooked up onto it. Yeah, I was just like, I don't know why it just did all that. Oh, uh, oh yeah, I, I disconnected. Yeah, you could just turn it up. Um, so yeah, that's how I came. That's how I came about. Um, that's how I came about with fully charged. I'm like, my name's Charles. Like, I always got great energy. I'm super hype. I'm super dope. Fully charged. Like, that's, and that's it fits what, you though. That's the thing. Fits. It literally fits. How old were you when you came up with the names? I had to be about. Or like 21. 21, but see, it fits. So yeah, it's it just fit. like, nah, this is this is it. This is my stamp. Yeah, so like, and it's so crazy because people actually call me fully charged. Yeah. Like, that's so funny. Like, if you know me, if you like grew up with me and you know me personally, I'm Charles. Yeah. Or they call me CJ because I'm a, I'm a junior. My name's oh. Charles Baker Jr. Okay. So they either call me CJ or Charles. I hate when people call me Charles. Like, Charles, it sounds so old. Like, <laughs> <laughs> old man Charles, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so just it's just like, they even call me CJ. If uh -huh. you personally know me, you won't call me CJ. Yeah, yeah. But if I just met you, you'll call me Charles. Uh -huh. You're fully charged. Okay. Yeah, so that's how I came up with that. Right. That's so crazy. That is. Like, mm, nah. 
like, I'm fully, I was like, I'm fully charged in this bitch. <laughs> Yo, like, say it with confidence. I was like, like you yes. know what? That's my motherfucking name. Fully charged. Right. I actually good. went and got it like LLC and everything. Like, yeah. Fully charged. Shit, I was too. Coming up with that name, yo, nobody say to me, I'm going to get the LLC like yeah. that. And so like now, like like when I'm on the road with Key and like I got and I'm working and I'm doing my camera and like the fans, they be like fully charged, yo. I'll be like, yo, that shit feel good. That's I'm like Really? Job. No facts. And yeah. especially cause like you said, a lot of people, you're behind the camera. Yeah. Now imagine that this year you're in front of the camera, mm -hmm. how much more Fully charged, you're gonna hear. Yeah, walking. that's just like okay. So you know, like America's Next Top Model. Yeah. The photographer guy was Jill Ben Simone. Oh, I didn't know that. Like every week we hit Jill Ben Simone, Jill yeah, Ben yeah. Simone. Like who's taking up it? Jill Ben Simone. Yeah. So like, it's like that's kind of like how I think of it now. Mm -hmm. Like when we go to fucking Rolling Loud and they're like fully charged. I'm like. <laughs> it's so crazy. It's crazy. No, I bet. I love it. I love every minute of it. I, I love the like the fans really do keep people going. They yeah. Did. The fans keep the artists going. They keep me going. They keep all this shit going. That's how we getting booked for these shows and these concerts. It's Facts. the fans. Yeah. It really is the fans. So. Yeah, but I appreciate also them. you guys have you guys have amazing visuals. You yeah. guys have good product for people to just make it easier for them to support mm -hmm. so it's just like no thank you for making shit easy for us yes. that we actually like yes. like yes. we appreciate you guys we appreciate the, the photos all your photos because you have a lot of people a lot of celebs on your page like mm -hmm. your content is dope as fuck yeah. so when you reached out to me i was like what do you not see your work like yeah. y'all barely no. starting what do you mean and, and i felt like i'm like shit i need, I need to uh pipe it up a little bit i need to reach out to her like, what? I, that's yeah, how that's I felt, and that's so crazy because, like I said, you never know, like how someone else on the outside may feel. Like, yeah. To me, your podcast, this podcast, shaking the culture. This is them, and like, damn, like, okay, I see her. She's interviewing a lot of people. Like, yeah. she's definitely growing her fan base. She's yeah, growing yeah. like her viewers and her audience. I'm like, shit, I want to be on there too. Yeah. Like, put me on there. Yeah, shit. So that's why I reached out to you. Yeah, I'm finally here after a year. <laughs> after a year of like figuring it out, like we are here. No, honestly, and I appreciate you. So no, much. I appreciate you. I appreciate your manager appreciate for you guys like taking the time and stuff like that. I genuinely appreciate you guys so much. Yeah. You guys are dope ass people. Like I love your energy. I love the energy. Yeah, it's so cool. It's quiet. It's there's Relaxing. no pressure, no stress. That's why I told y'all take your time. Whatever y'all need to do, yeah. figure it out. I like, appreciate I'm that. Yep. So where can we follow you? Where can we support you? What what can we do to help you? Okay. So you guys can actually follow me on Instagram at fully underscore underscore charge. YouTube, just type in fully charged lifestyle. On Twitter, fully charged 103. Um, Facebook, type in fully charged. Um, Snapchat is charged up C. And that's it. What about TikTok? Do you know TikTok? I got yet? TikTok. No, I got TikTok. I got TikTok. My TikTok is. I just started. TikTok? <laughs> I just started on TikTok. Have you done any like dances yet? I have. I'm still trying to figure them out. But. No facts. He, me, you both. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure them out. Fully, my, my, my TikTok is fully charged. Okay. <laughs> I think, you know, fully charged on TikTok. So just type in fully charged in all social okay. medias in the out pop up. All right, but, but, yep. but thank you so thank much. Like so I much. said, I appreciate, I appreciate you. you. Thank you for having all me today. Right. Of course. Um, so guys, stay tapped in, like, subscribe, all that stuff. Follow like, us. Like, subscribe, subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, follow me everywhere. Just follow. You